Hello friends, today I am discussing about the discoloration of the teeth. What do you mean by discoloration of the teeth? Discoloration is a phenomenon in, in which the teeth are discolored and discolor from their normal tooth color and um, causes of discoloration. We have extrinsic staining, surface deposition or intrinsic staining. In intrinsic staining changes in dental heart tissue, diffusion of pigment after dental heart tissue formation, diffusion of pigment during dental heart tissue formation. Extrinsic staining green, black, brown, or occasionally red or orange depositions of the deposition may be absorbed on the tooth surface within the salivary pellicle or dental plug. For example, such as betel nut ring mouth rinses and other topical medicament and we discuss intrinsic staining changes in structured dental heart tissue abnormally colored teeth are seen in amelogenesis imperfecta and dentinogenesis imperfecta other types of develop developmentally hypomineralized or hypoplastic enamels and white spots enamel caries there is a clinical picture showing the intrinsic staining in the teeth intrinsic staining diffusion of pigment into the heart tissue after the formation pulp necrosis is the most common cause lysis of necrotic tissue on of the red blood cell from area of hemorrhage lead to pigmented products which diffuse into the dentin and here is the picture showing pulp necrosis in the anterior central maxillary central incisors. And we have intrinsic staining incorporation of pigment in dental heart tissue during the formations. We have the two stages and we have intrinsic staining according to the types of the dental heart tissue formation during their formation and the after their formation congenital hyperbilirubinemia bile pigment may be deposited in the calcifying enamels and dentin of the de developing teeth particularly along the neonatal incremental line as we know that their hyperbilirubinemia is known as that there is a increased level of bilirubin in the blood so when the neonatal incremental line deposit and uh, there is a deposition of the enamel in the incremental lines bilirubin also deposit in the these dental heart tissue and the, the these these uh, deposition give color to the teeth and we have congenital porphyria it is a characteristic by the exertion excretion of red porphyrin pigment in the urine and circulatory porphyrin in the blood which are deposited in the many tissue in many tissue including bones and dental heart tissue and here is a clinical picture showing congenital porphyria in the deciduous teeth and we have tetracycline pigmentations tetracycline is an antibiotics which are contraindicated during pregnancy and their uh, in first seven heart of the seven year of the birth because tetracycline may be deposited in the teeth and bones and cause discoloration of these two heart tissues systemic systemic administration of the tetracycline during the threat of tooth development result in the deposition in the dental heart tissue as well as bone there is a clinical picture showing the tetracycline pigmentation in the permanent dentitions and we see in tetracycline pigmentation there is a band of staining throughout the dentitions how it could be possible because in the enamel or dentines may deposit in incremental like uh, incremental line uh, increments so during these formation of the enamels tetracycline may also deposit as increments or in increments in these dental heart tissue thank you